All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome to a very, very special video. Today, or tonight, is the last ever game at Upton Park, or the bowling ground for West Ham United. It's gonna be a very, very emotional evening. This is a ground I've come to my whole life. Um, as for all the other West Ham fans, some of them have been coming here a lot longer than that, you know? Not only that, it's actually an important game. Who would have thought at the start of the season we'd be in a place to actually be battling for a chance to play in Europe and we'd be playing Manchester United and we'd be competing with them in the league. But that's the situation we find ourselves in. If we win this game, we're looking very good for Europa League spot and Man City fans will love us because if Man United win this game, it looks like Man City might not finish in the top four. So it's a, it's a massive game and the result of the game may affect the mood slightly. Like if we lose, people might be kind of more upset about the fact that they're leaving the ground and it'll be less of a celebration and more of a kind of revolt, I don't know. If we draw, that's still okay. If we win, it'll be unbelievable. It'll be a carnival atmosphere. I know the club have got some amazing stuff planned. So this vlog is gonna be a bit of a special one. I want to obviously go to the game, vlog it like normal. I also want to say goodbye to the area and all the things that I've enjoyed doing over the last 27 years of my life because I won't be doing them ever again. 90 minutes of football, that's all that remains at Upton Park. Let's go. The atmosphere tonight is going to be crazy because it's going to be like a cup final, you know, feeling. People have got face paint, everyone cheering, everyone going crazy. At the Swansea game on the weekend, which we lost 4-1, which was a real disappointment. Obviously, I couldn't go there, but you might have seen the vlog. Saunders filled in for me. Apparently, there was a bit of unrest, like, in the, in the uh, bit where they sell all the food and stuff. People were trashing the place. So, hopefully, we don't see any of that tonight, and it's all friendly. But, like I said, the result will affect things. The other thing worth considering about today's game is it's actually a bit of revenge on the cards because it was Man United that knocked us out of the FA Cup quite recently. We fought. We we're going to end our season, our last season at Bowling Ground with an FA Cup victory perhaps, you know, going to Wembley. Man United denied us that. So we've got a chance to deny them something tonight. Makes it a bit more tasty. Just picked myself up one of the official programmes uh, for the final game. Check this out. I'm in it. There's an article about me in the last ever program up to part. That is crazy. just picked myself up this burger now as you know I'm a professional athlete these days for hashtag United I wouldn't usually eat it but I had to go back to that place the reason I had to go back there is when I was a kid and I came here with my dad and my brothers we'd go there all the time and all the burgers and stuff used to be named after footballers they still are a little bit so I used to always remember it as a kid and recently I was watching this documentary about the Upton Park move and I've obviously known about it coming for a long time but it actually got me a little bit emotional because that's particular place the owner said yeah we've got a winding up order we've got to close down in a few weeks because obviously they can't continue their business when we move to Olympic Stadium and that particularly hit me like pulled on the heartstrings I realized it's actually affecting a lot of people this move guess what it's decent oh. kicking off back there. Hopefully it's all friendly fun, but you never know. See, some people might look at today and think we're making a load of fuss out of nothing, you know, we just move in football pitch, you know, it's just a bit of grass inside a stadium, and we're moving that bit of grass to another building somewhere else. But 
Former football fans know it's about much more than that. This is a church, right? If you feel the way about football like I do, it's like a religion. And Upton Park has been our church, our place of worship for all my life and 100 years. We're moving that place now and it's emotional. Now this new church we're moving to might be bigger, better, more expensive, might have bigger stained glass windows and more room for the choir, but it will never be the first. That will always be the bowling ground. It's like when you move house, you know? You might be moving to a better house. It might be a better move for your family, but it doesn't mean it's not emotional when you leave the other one behind. You always think about it and you always feel the same. And that's exactly how everyone feels here. So instead of one family moving houses, 35,000 people moving house and more joining us in the new place. It's very emotional. <laughs> I think we're going to have a delayed kickoff because uh, all the fans are blocking the road and the Man U players can't get in. The, the, the coach is having to reverse into the car park because there's so many people out here. So kickoff will be late. It's almost like the fans are saying if you don't get in the stadium, you can't play. If you can't play, we can't close the doors to the stadium. Pretty crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've never seen anything like this in terms of atmosphere, in terms of the amount of people here. Pretty much every game this season has been a sellout. There's no way all these people are getting in. It's just the whole road is chock a block. Look at all those people over there. Can you see them? It's crazy. It's absolutely mental. Right, as expected, kickoff has been delayed. It's going to be an 8.30 kickoff now because of all the crowds and the fact that the Man U bus couldn't even get in the stadium for about 40 minutes. So we're going to have more time to soak up the atmosphere. But we're inside now. The last time we'll ever go through the turnstiles at the bowling ground is done. Everything feels busier than normal, even in here, where it should only be people with a ticket. It's pretty busy, like more busy than I'm used to. Here we go. Last time I'll be doing this. We've got a while before kickoff, but uh boy lights up as well, everyone's going to hold him up at the end of the game apparently. Technically it's only eight minutes before kickoff, but because it's been delayed for the amount of people that are outside, we've got like an hour before kickoff, which is the earliest we've ever been. It's an XL, but it will have to do.
nil to West Ham. Very good half. We've been the better team by far. Lots of chances. Only the one goal though. That's what concerns me. We need to score more if we're going to guarantee ourselves three points here, which we need. Come on.
it. It's all over. Bobby Moore himself switched the lights off. Farewell. Farewell, old friend. We shall remember you. I'll be coming back for you. Yes, Mama. No, I'll be coming back for you. And just like that, it was all over. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. Hopefully, the new home will have maybe even happier memories than this place. Because we've been here for 100 years, so just now they did like a montage of all the best bits, and obviously in 100 years there's a lot of positives, but in my lifetime there has been a lot of troublesome years for West Ham, but I genuinely feel the future is bright, and I think we can achieve some amazing, amazing things in the Olympic Stadium. Bowling ground, thank you for everything. I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing. Actually, it is going to go changing. It's literally going to get knocked down and turn into flats. So, yeah, just take care, basically. It's actually crazy looking around how many people are still sitting in their seats. Like when uh, someone wants to knock down some trees or something and they like tie themselves to the trees and say, you can't knock this place down if I'm still attached to it. These guys, you see them just scattered around. They haven't left yet. And look, Saundy's still there taking some pictures. Dad's gonna live on the stairs from now on. He's decided he's staying there. Oh God, we will miss you. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. This is the end. The all ominous the end. words. I know, mate, I know. <laughs> we all walk out here, we will not be back. Bye, mate. Take care, my friend. Take care. Yes, Bye, mate. Don't make me go. Oh, this isn't even the right way. Oh, I can't remember all season, but I've gone the wrong way. Okay, take two. Goodbye, West Ham. Not West Ham. Upton Park. The bowling ground. Two names. You'll never live by again. <sighs> to the Olympic Stadium! We're on our way to the Olympic Stadium. We're on our way to the Olympic Stadium. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He knows it. We're on our way to the Olympic Stadium. We're on our... No. <laughs> You're on your way to the Olympic Stadium. Wait, we're on our way to the Olympic Stadium. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I like it. Have fun. Cheers, mate. Have a good same journey out, yeah? You too. Take care of yourselves. Dad, last time we walked down these uh, Certainly is. walkways, how do you feel? Sad, but happy because we're going to a great new stadium. But what a brilliant night. What a night. To be the Red Devils at the bowling last competitive game ever smashing. I want to say a special shout out to Stevie here, my dad, because he brought me here first with my brothers, made us West Ham fans. 20 odd years it was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> now it's getting better, Stevie boy. <laughs> Come on. Bye bye. Thanks for everything. Take care. And we're out. No longer in the stadium vicinity. Hello. We've exited the building. Don't close them! Oh, no. Please! Ah! Bye! Take care. Bye, Stop them! Stop them doing it! <laughs> no! Why? Why? Oh, she's opened them again. <laughs> Goodbye, bowling ground. Take care. One thing I would like to quickly mention before we finish is um, I'm sure the press will be concentrating on the pre-match violence that happened at the game today. By violence I mean a lot of idiot West Ham fans uh, threw some bottles at the, West, at the Man United bus, which is a stupid thing to do. Now, yes, it was pretty ugly. I saw some of it. There's like 30, probably 30 people doing it. And whilst that's unacceptable and I hate it, and I hate being associated with them as a West Ham fan, You've got to remember that's a minority, okay? Even if there was a thousand of them doing it, which there wasn't, there was like 30, that would still be like 2% because there was about 50,000 people there today if you include the people that were outside the stadium that didn't get in the stadium. So if you're one of those mugs that did that, you're an embarrassment, don't come with us to the Olympic Stadium. But if you're not a West Ham fan, you watch that and you think that's what we're like, let me assure you, the vast majority of us are just like every other football fan. We love football, we love our club, but we don't hate other people. We don't want to throw bottles at them. That's just a bad thing to do and that's not what we want to do. But I really hope the press don't concentrate on that stuff too much. There was a lot of things that went wrong. There was way too many people in the streets. The stadium wasn't opened early enough so the coach was stuck in the middle of Green Street for about an hour and no one could move anywhere which obviously creates more unrest but obviously throwing bottles and that is unacceptable. Please though concentrate on the football. It was a great game, great send-off. Right guys, that is it. Not only for the game, not only 
for the stadium, but for the series. I've been doing all the home games this season, obviously. That was the last one. So I hope you've enjoyed coming with me on every home game that I've gone to this season. If you want to see me do it at the Olympic Stadium as well, make sure you drop a like on the video and leave a comment below. But for now, all that's left to say is I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing. And bye-bye to the bowling ground.